Okay, I am using my video camera here, which does not do well with the inside light, even though I have lights on, instead of my phone. I usually use my phone. So this isn't the best quality video, but hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. So I'm doing the sourdough cornbread. This is the same day that I made the sourdough sandwich bread, and the kids were wanting Sonic, and I was running a little bit late for dinner here. Um, but instead of going to Sonic, they wanted corn dogs. So instead of going to Sonic, I decided to do corn dogs for them, but do the sourdough version, which they said was better than Sonic. So that made me feel better. Um, so the recipe that I'm using is from Simply Sourdough, the Alaska Way, and it's by Kathy Dugan. I do like several recipes that are in this book. Most of them I do tweak the ingredients or change the way I do it a little bit, but this is one of them that I do pretty much exactly how she has it in here. So in the big bowl, I have one and a half cups of flour, a half cup of sugar. You can use whatever sweetener you like, or if you don't want sweet cornbread, then don't put the sugar or sweetener in it. Three fourths cup of cornmeal, one tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. I do change this part. I do one fourth teaspoon of salt because I like to use salted butter. So I have all of that whisked together and combined really well. And then I add one cup of starter, one cup of milk and two eggs. Um, then it says a half cup of vegetable oil. I like to use melted butter instead of oil. So while I'm getting all of this mixed up, I do have my half cup of butter in a small bowl melting in the oven. We do not have a microwave. I do not use a microwave. I do everything with my stovetop or my oven if it has to be melted or heated up. And so that's how I'm going about doing this. So with this recipe, um, if you don't want to use it for corn dogs, like this is the actual cornbread recipe. So if you just want flat out cornbread with a meal, or even if you're doing like a cornbread dressing for Thanksgiving or Christmas, this is the same recipe that you would use. So um, if you're putting it, if you're doing th just this and you're going to put it, all of it in a pan, you would bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Or if you want to do muffins, which is what I end up doing with the leftovers here, is I make muffins. And so you'll put them in the muffin tins. And then you'll bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit still for 18 to 20 minutes. I usually go about 18 minutes and mine are pretty good. So I added the warm butter here and what we learned with the sandwich bread on this same day was that it likes the warmth of the butter or the milk. And so this warm butter that I added in here will get that starter nice and active. So then I had the hot dogs thawing in the refrigerator for two days and so they did have some moisture on them. I do want to make sure I get all of that moisture off because if it has any kind of moisture and I go to dip it in that cornbread it's not going to want to stick. It's all going to fall off. So I do have to make sure I get everything nice and dry to where whenever I do dip it it, it stays on there. Um, and then you want to put your cornbread in something that's kind of tall. I like to use this tall glass and because that gives me that's like the height that I need to be able to get the hot dogs in there real good and have enough room to get them real coated. And after a few hot dogs, it does start kind of going down. And so you will have to add more to the cup. But what the leftovers that I had here, like I said, I just poured them into muffin tins and we had muffins as well. So I'm going to sit here, you mix it around, try and get it nice and coated. And then I need to flip this. So you can use whatever cooking oil you would like to use. Or if you, you know, we don't eat fried foods often. So all the options out there, I really don't know of. Um, but if you like to use tallow or lard or whatever you like to use with your, um, with your frying, then that's what you want to use. And you want to make sure it's not too hot or else it will brown on top first and not really cook in the middle. So you do want to watch your temperature. Um, but I don't know if you could tell what I did there is when I put it in, I put the um, first half of it in first and then kind of twisted it around and instead of just plopping it in there. And that's to make sure um, it kind of like hardens the outside of it first 
and it, it keeps it from just falling off inside of the grease. And then you do, it cooks very quickly, so you do want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on it and, um, and that you're turning it whenever it needs to. Your first one you're probably going to mess up on. I messed up on it too and totally burnt, but it was great on the inside. And that's actually the one that I ended up eating. <laughs>